guys welcome back to another vlog I just got my eyebrows done just got to clean up and they're looking good and clean again drinking a matcha today if you guys watched my last vlog I talked about a recent panic attack that I had when I went to Costco and I'm so glad that I talked about it because I was really debating just ending the vlog that day and not vlogging for the rest of the day so that I could recuperate and just get mentally okay again but I'm really glad I talked about it and I was open about it because so many of you guys resonated with that and a lot of you guys experienced anxiety and panic attacks as well it's just so common but that's why I'm drinking a matcha today because I notice that when I'm drinking coffee is when my anxiety gets worse and I know caffeine is like prone to give you more anxiety so I'm laying off the coffee for a while and I did this back I think last fall and I just remember giving up coffee for maybe a month or so and I was drinking matcha every single day and I remember feeling such a difference. I felt less anxiety. I felt less stress, less negative emotions overall, basically. I felt more positive, more energized. That's a, That was another big thing. So I made myself an iced matcha at home. And yeah, I came to the salon, got my eyebrows done. And I'm going to head over to Target. I have a few things I need to pick up. And for today's vlog, I honestly don't really have much plan, but I do have a lot of things to show you guys when I get home. I have a little haul. I haven't done a try on haul in so long. Yeah, so the last time I vlogged, I vlogged on Thursday and today is Wednesday, August 16th. So I haven't vlogged in, what is that, five days? I really feel like this summer I went through kind of an epiphany where I told myself you don't need to kill yourself every day over work. I used to push myself and grind myself so hard and when there were days that I didn't work I would feel so guilty and so this summer I really changed that mindset this year I think in general I really changed that mindset this is my fifth fifth year on YouTube third year being full-time and I think back when I first went full-time in 2020 and 2021 that was my first full year being a full-time content creator and youtuber I had this fear in me that I wouldn't have enough money to live because that was the biggest part of having a corporate job, that security. That's why I stayed for so long and didn't do YouTube full time for so long is because you had that security of a bi-weekly paycheck. And when that, when that went away, I told myself, oh no, if you don't work, you're not going to have money for gas and food and rent. So the past three years, I think I've just been grinding so hard. But when 2023 came, and it was especially after Vlogmas, when uh, the new year came this year, I told myself, you know what? you're good you can relax a little bit just calm down <laughs> stop freaking out stop being so stressed and anxiety prone over work so this summer I've really been chilling I think I post maybe one or two times a week now I really want to pick that number up in the fall and definitely like near Christmas time and vlogmas I mean I'll be vlogging every day again in vlogmas so yeah that's why I feel like this summer has been super chill and like in terms of me vlogging but it's been really good on my mentals and yeah I'm gonna just work now on ways to decrease my anxiety and stress I really am not that stressed honestly I mean we all have the stresses of day-to-day -day things and bills and stuff I have jury duty next week that's kind of stressing me out because I've never been and I'm kind of nervous um, hopefully I don't have to go you call the night before to like check if you have to go my number is like 200 something so hopefully they don't need me so stuff like that has been kind of on my mind but life is too simple to be taken too seriously like life is simple we are the ones that make it complicated with our thoughts and our actions but life is so simple if you think about it kind of in a way that whole rant just came from me talking about how I'm drinking matcha now but mm, I drink the Chamberlain matcha it's so good the vanilla one it tastes like a vanilla matcha latte that you get at starbucks but it melted because i left it in here when i went to go get my eyebrows done anyway let's head out now because i'm just sitting here i'm gonna give target's fall decor a second chance i did check out the fall decor section maybe two weeks ago i think it was two vlogs ago and i vlogged inside of target and i was saying how kind of underwhelmed I was with the decor so hopefully it'll be better today maybe since it's closer to September it'll be better but we'll see 
Not that I need to buy fall decor. I told myself in that vlog when I went to Target that I didn't need to buy anymore. But if there's a cute little fall candle, cause you know, I'll be collecting my candles all the time. I love candles. If there's a cute little fall candle, maybe some pumpkin spice creamer or something. We're gonna grab that, so. All right, off to Target we go. Another Target run. I'm going to Target a lot in the vlogs. But who doesn't love a good Target run? I literally love, those are, I think those are my favorite videos to watch on TikTok. People going on Target runs and just seeing what they buy. Hopefully you guys like the Target runs too. Back from Target and I have a fun little haul for you guys definitely some things that I didn't really need but couldn't resist so first thing is this bag actually this reusable shopping bag from the dollar section this is only a dollar and I thought it was just really cute first of all it says just the essentials on it I love the color and it's really big very good heavy duty so I'm glad that I have a good reusable bag that I can use for groceries and shopping so okay the haul we have a pair of shoes so I've been wanting to get a pair of ballet flats for a while now and these are from a new day and these are just a plain pair of black ballet flats with a little bow and I really liked how comfy they were they are super padded on the bottom and they fit really well. I got my normal size, eight and a half, and they were $19.99, $20. So I just wanted these for the fall time to wear with some jeans and trousers. And I actually saved a few photos on my Pinterest of inspiration outfit inspo with ballet flats. So I wanna insert a couple here because I wanna give you a visual of like how I want to style these. I'm thinking of some nice oversized denim with oversized blazers, a cute bag, something like that. So yeah, I think these are a really nice essential pair. I got a couple of food items. I got the spring mix again, and then I got a olive tapenade hummus. And then I also got this digestion lemonade from Sunwink. I was actually looking for the, the green one. It's the detox and de bloat. And it's the green juice one, but this one also helps support detoxing and deep bloating and it tastes like lemonade. I've gotten this once before and I really like the taste of it. So this will be my replacement. I'll drink this every morning and it'll help with digestion for the day. Set your stomach up for a good digestion day. And then it has dandelion for detoxing, amla for recovery and the chicory root is for digestion. And then I got a book. Okay, I've been so bad at reading. I used to talk about books a lot in my vlogs and I had a whole summer reading list. But if you guys remember my vlogs, maybe a couple months ago, I was talking about how I was having some problems with my head. I hit my head really hard and I had to go get like a CAT scan and it was just a whole big thing. I was having headaches for like, days and weeks in a row my headaches have gone away i'm fine now during that time i stopped reading because i didn't want to strain my eyes even more because you know when you strain your eyes it sometimes can lead to migraines and sometimes if i read too much i will actually get a migraine so that's why i stopped reading and i just never got back to it so now that my head problems are gone i'm going to start reading again so i actually have a couple books that i'm currently reading i'm in the midst of reading them i saw this on tiktok and everyone was raving about this book so i really wanted to read it it's called twisted love and it's part of a series so i think this one is the first one there's also these other three books currently in the series i think yeah i think this is the first and then there's twisted games twisted hate and twisted lies uh so this is a romance book and let's see it says the devil base with a face you know there's a tragedy that's haunted alex he's the dude in the book and then he's forced to look after his best friend's sister 
And then the best friend's sister, her name's Ava, and she's had a broken past, and her best, her brother's best friend, the dude, Alex, that's her neighbor. Uh, it says that's her savior and her downfall. So it's gonna be one of those little spicy romance novels. I'm excited. I might, mm, I don't know. I'm reading currently Endless Summer. I think that's what it's called. And it's really good. So I think I want to finish that and then read this. But the thing is, I have so many summer themed books. I kind of want to read them all before August ends. Because by September, I'm going to be so tapped out of summer. I'm going to be in full fall mode. And I won't want to read any summer themed books. So I'll figure out my reading schedule. But I'm very excited to start this series. I want to read the other three books once I'm done with this. Okay, and then we got some beauty products. I got some makeup wipes. I just needed some more. And then I got this uh, sensitive foaming wash. It's a feminine foaming wash for your intimate areas. This is from The Honey Pot. I've always wanted to try this brand. This is my first product from this brand, but this is non-irritating, helps to minimize odor. It's gentle, pH balanced gynecologist improvements for sensitive skin so i ran out of the one i was currently using it was the one from love wellness i really like that but i was just intrigued by uh the honey pot and this brand let me know in the comments if you've tried this uh brand before but the reviews online were good so i'm excited to try that i needed a new deep moisture mask for my hair so um, I was using the Briogeo one, and then I love that one. And then I was also using the Living Proof one, but those are pretty pricey. So I wanted to get something that was a little bit more affordable. I think this one was $12, $13, something like that. But this is from Odell, and it's the Moisture Mask. It's for a deep moisture infusion that resets you to your best. It has argan and jojoba plant proteins to repair, restore, and nourish your locks. It deeply hydrates and it's rich in amino acids and the moisture mask adds shine and helps minimize breakage so just wanted to try this out i am a fan of the odell hairline i have the shampoo and conditioner and i really like those so we'll try that out and hopefully that'll be just as good okay this next thing that i got i'm like so mad at myself because i told myself i was not going to get this i didn't need it i really did not need it but it's been on my mind for the past two weeks. It's been sitting in my Target cart for the past week, and I've watched so many videos on it just to see if I really wanted it. And then I saw it in person, and I couldn't resist, so I just grabbed it, so. Okay, I got a Stanley tumbler, mm -hmm. and it's in one of the new colors. It's the collab that they're doing with Hearth and Hand with Magnolia. It's a limited edition color, so they have this, and they have like a navy color, a white color, a an olive color and yeah they have a bunch of really nice really pretty colors so i saw this color and i just oh, i couldn't resist because i really love this color um it's kind of like a taupe a dark taupe and they call this the brown color it looks kind of darker online i'm gonna wash this out and use this now this is just so cute for fall i'm very disappointed in myself for getting this because i did not need to spend this money but it's fine i'm gonna just enjoy enjoy the small things in life and then just one more thing i got kind of random it's this serving tray platter and i really love the texture look of it but yeah i just really wanted something to serve uh my meals like if i'm making a big dish i don't have anything like this i always have been needing kind of like this oval shaped serving platter so i can put you know if i make like a pot roast or like a baked chicken or something i just needed like a nice dinner serving platter so i saw this and i really liked the color texture and look of it it was i think 18 dollars this is plastic this is not glass so um it's not breakable it's not like amazing quality but it is bpa free so that's good so that's all that i got from target I really do love this bag i love the color of it and they have a lot of other designs and colors too but i just thought that little freeze here was cute so okay we're gonna wash this i'm gonna wash this and start drinking out of this i'm so funny i really had an internal battle with myself for so long over this i'll link this in my description the ballet flats and then all the other things that i mentioned all the beauty um, and household items i will link in my description i made a salad for lunch with the spring mix that i got today from target and then i added some cucumber red onion green bell pepper this is hummus with some chili onion crunch on top that is basil pesto and i think that's all and then i have the chicken down there kind of a mediterranean style 
uh, I guess, salad. But I kind of wish I had feta cheese because feta makes everything taste so good. And that would definitely make it a little bit more Mediterranean. But I'm going to mix it up. And the pesto and the hummus will be kind of like my dressing. Oh, I need to add lime to the top and salt and pepper too. Mm, looks so good. Mm, so good. I forgot to show this because it was in my fridge, but I also got this from Target. A pumpkin spice creamer. I know I said I was not going to drink coffee, but it's been, I think, two days since I last had a coffee. So I think it'll be okay. I just really want to try this creamer. And oh my God, I'm so excited to finally have this pumpkin spice back. Just the smell of it. Oh my God. I feel like crying tears of joy. Oh man. My coffee limit is three days out of the week. So I guess every other day. But I mean, it's good considering I used to drink two cups of coffee a day every single day, which is 14 cups of coffee a week. So from 14 to three cups of coffee, I think that's a good improvement. You know what? I don't regret getting this anymore because I just compared this to my no branded Amazon one. Here's this one, the one I've been using for comparison. It's the same size. This one actually is a tiny, teeny, teeny bit taller, but the shape of it is pretty much the same and they're both 40 ounces. But the Stanley one, you can definitely tell the quality is way better. The straw is bigger and I like that because you can get more water when you take a sip. The handle is a lot stronger it has this um, anti-grip thing here like a rubbery grip here whereas this one doesn't and i like the lid of this one a lot more it's kind of like a like a clear plastic one it just feels a lot stronger and this one i mean this one is still good quality too like it's definitely a good tumbler for the price that i paid i think it was like 25 dollars or something like that but yeah you can tell the obvious differences in terms of quality but it's not that big of a difference so i still like this like i'm always going to use this i'm glad i have you know different ones now because i don't drink out of drinking glasses i don't ever use cups or glasses i always constantly drink out of a water bottle or a tumbler and i bring with me everywhere i go so it's good to have more than one i do also have a white one that is also not branded so now i have three in my rotation and um, I try to wash these every couple days, every few days, because it gets nasty after a while. Like this, it's been a week since I last washed it, so it's time to throw that in the dishwasher. And now I have my brand new Stanley. I have some new things I wanted to show you guys. I have some new clothes that I got from this store called Darling. And these were gifted to me, so I'm really excited to open it and see what everything looks like. Starting to build my fall capsule wardrobe well not really build I already have everything that I need I have a lot of clothes from last season so I don't plan on doing much fall shopping this year I've never heard of this brand but they have a lot of really cute stuff okay so it's just two things here the first one is a white button-up not that I needed another one I have a full-on collection of white button-ups but I wear them so often and I have different styles of them. I have more fitted ones, more oversized ones. So that's why I have so many. Why not add another to the collection? Oh, this is nice and oversized. The quality looks good. Just a plain white button up shirt. But I wear these so much, especially in the fall time. I wear them with jeans, with skirts, uh, dresses sometimes. I wear them as like a little pullover cover up when I'm wearing a tank top or short sleeve top so I get a lot of use out of my white shirts so that's why I have a very big collection I'll try that on in a minute and then the other thing they sent is a coat I think this is a trench coat I love trench coats for the fall time I think they first of all look so cute and second of all they are just so chic Ooh, this one is pretty it's a long very long coat. I was expecting a heavy duty, like actual trench coat. This is not 
um, trench coat material. It's more of like a cloth material, but I'll try that on in a minute. That looks really cute. Thank you very much for sending that. I also got a package from It Cosmetics. I'm actually filming a TikTok for them, but I wanted to just try them out before I film the TikTok so I can get used to the product and see if I like it. But they sent the CC Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream, shade medium. Hopefully that's my shade. They sent over a brush. This is the Heavenly Luxe Complex Perfection Brush. So that's nice. And then the Superhero Mascara. I've heard so many good things about this mascara. And there is the Bye Bye Pores Blush. It's a poreless finish air brush blush that's a tongue twister in the color sweet cheeks that's a really pretty color for summer i want to open this there's the blush shade that's typically the blush shade that i always go for kind of like a natural rosy pink and also the airbrush powder in translucent i actually need another translucent powder that's really good timing i actually have my old one here this has to stay on the top of my vanity because it broke so i can't store it in my vanity with the rest of my makeup but this one hit pan it's pretty much so close to being done so that's perfect timing for this translucent powder there's that powder kind of has a um yellow undertone kind of reminds me of banana powder a little bit and last thing is the bye bye dark spots concealer so that's all that they sent i want to do a little try on tests because like i said before i film my tiktok for them i want to make sure that these shades will look good and that i know how to use it properly and apply properly okay oh i don't know if i use too much do i need to use a brush i probably should use a brush because this kind of is looking like foundation a little bit okay so maybe that's what this brush is for um it might be might be just like half a shade too light, but I will get paler in the winter, so it'll be good for them. This smells amazing, wow. Kind of smells perfumey, but it's not too, um, it's not too overbearing. Full coverage, it's anti-aging, it's a hydrating serum. So that's a lot of really good benefits. Wow, ooh. That low key like, looks like a foundation. Okay, let's try on the concealer. So it has a little applicator here and then the brush is included, so that's nice. I guess I can just use this brush to blend. Oh boy, I hope that's the right color. I don't know if I'm a fan of this brush. It's not really spreading it evenly. Let me just use my finger, honestly. Okay, and now let us apply the translucent powder. Ooh, I like that color. Oh, can you guys see a difference? What's left? The blush? Yeah, the blush. Ooh, oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. <gasps> that is so pigmented. I literally did not need to use that much. A little goes a long way. I love products like that. So my nose. For that sun-kissed look. I'm looking so pale. Let me just put on some bronzer just to make myself feel better. <laughs> this is the um, Too Faced Choco, something chocolate? Sun Bunny, oh my God, I just got the flashback of the Too Faced chocolate bar. Do you guys remember that eyeshadow palette? All right, so I really like it overall. I think my favorite thing is definitely the blush and the CC cream. I've heard really good things about the CC cream. I'm just, just for the look, because my lips are looking pale, I'm gonna use this Monday Born Nourishing Lip Balm. Just to add some color, a natural color. I'm not even going anywhere today. I should have done this earlier this morning before I did all my errands and went out, but it's okay. Oh, I really like this look. I feel like it's very natural. Um, kind of that no makeup makeup look. That's CC cream, wow, it has to be the CC cream that's really giving this effect. And then the, the blush is very natural looking as well, even though I just caked it on. Okay, so I will probably, what time is it? I think I need to work a little bit. I do have to film 
a couple sponsorships for TikTok. One of them is this, and then I do have another one to film. And then I'll probably work a little bit. I have a lot of emails to catch up on, and then I'm gonna make some dinner. I'm making meatloaf tonight, which I know that might be gross to a lot of people, but I love meatloaf because it's so packed with protein and really good, honestly, with anything. So I'll make dinner tonight and then probably just hang out and chill. Oh yeah, wait, let me try on these clothes first really quick. Let's try on the white button up. I guess I could just throw it on my outfit currently since I'm already wearing a button up shirt. Okay, here is the button up from Darling. Very cute. I love the length of it. I love when the shirts are really long. So it's good like this as a cover up. And I really like it specifically because the neckline it's not like your typical um button down where it kind of collars you like this oh wait actually that's kind of a look that's cute i normally don't button up my button ups all the way up to my neck but why does that look cute right now so anyway yeah i really like it the only thing is that the sleeves are a little bit more tighter than i expected i thought they were going to be very oversized but i think i like how it's tighter in the arms it's not tight tight you know what i mean like it's still room but um i'm so used to button up shirts having so much extra room but i like that because it looks more fitted while still being oversized i'm digging this very cute i love the style and the fit and the cut and the coat is very nice as well i really like the style and the material of it i was really thinking that it was going to be like that thick actual trench coat material but i'm actually happy that it's not that i'm happy that it's kind of more flimsy and light because this will be a really great transition piece from summer to fall i can definitely start wearing this now you know at nighttime when it's a little bit chilly um because it is very lightweight this will also be really nice in the spring like a very cute spring jacket but yeah it's pretty long um don't mind my slippers <laughs> but it goes down pretty much almost hits my ankle and i'm five six so i love it i love the long coats like this so wow this is cute i was not expecting to like this based on the material but i love it so while i'm on the topic of new things to show you guys i have some more new things to show you guys that i got a few weeks ago and i don't think i've shown the vlog yet but i really have been wanting some really cool moto jackets oversized faux leather jackets that kind of look like nascar or you know just the moto jacket style so i got these two well, this is the first one i'm just so obsessed with all of these decals and i don't even know what these things say i just like the look of it but i got this from a store called you know what i don't think i could pronounce it el frick al al frick eden pretty sure it's based in somewhere in europe i don't know where maybe the uk um i'm not quite sure but i've seen a few people on tiktok talk about this brand and i just have been looking for jackets like this for so long and they weren't gifted i bought them myself and i did use a coupon i think it was a 20 percent off coupon so i'll try to link that in my description along with the jackets but i like this one because it's plain black so i can wear this with anything and then i also got this one that has more blues in it. You guys, like I'm so obsessed with blue, as you can see. And I also have Nike Dunks that have this color blue, so I think I could wear that with this. But this one is cool because you can detach it. It has a zipper here, and you can remove the bottom so that it's a cropped jacket. So that would be so cute as well. Here's the blue one. They're very comfortable too. They feel really good on the inside. And I got a size medium in both. Yes, that's all. I think that's all that I have to show you guys. Do I have anything else new to show you? I'm like looking on my clothing rack. I think I showed everything. Did I show this in my naked haul? I can't remember if I show this or not. But also, another cute top that I'm going to be rocking for the fall is this denim shirt. I haven't worn this yet, but I got it from NAKD. And it's just a long sleeve denim top. And the sleeves or the shoulders are kind of poofy here. So I want to wear this with the same exact colored denim oversized denim pants and maybe some black heels like a pointed toe a black pointed toe heel is what i picture wearing with this so yes wow i'm just so excited for fall i think fall is my favorite uh season in terms of fashion and outfits i didn't really do many summer fashion videos or even photos on instagram i always take my little photo shoots and post my little outfit photos on instagram but i really 
did not do that much of it this summer. I just was not feeling the summer fashion this year. I wasn't really feeling the clothes I had. I didn't want to go out and just buy a bunch of clothes that I didn't need. So I didn't really do much summer fashion looks. But when fall comes around, when the temperature drops to below 70 degrees, no, not even, below 75 degrees, I'm going to be out there in the streets with my outfits on and we're going to be looking cute. Oh my God, this jacket would be so cute with my diesel bag. Like very 2000s street style. Just so excited, you guys. So this is the clothing rack that I was talking about that I want to update to have all of my capsule items. But actually, I think we're going to redo this room soon. I'm in the office. I think we're going to redo this room soon because we're going to make this onto his office. Because honestly, I don't really work in here anymore. All I do in this room is go on my Peloton do my makeup and that's it. I don't even utilize this clothing rack anymore. So we might move this to the bedroom, honestly get rid of all this stuff. The only thing we'll keep here is probably, uh, or definitely the Peloton because there's nowhere else to put it. And the vanity, we might leave there. But we plan on making this Anto's work set up because I don't even work at this desk anymore. I work outside. Um, or making it a shared office space where he can put his monitors here too. And if I need to work here, I can work here. But yeah, that's something we're working on. Uh, moving in here. Maybe sometime in September is the goal. But we've been planning on that for months now. Like so many months we've been planning. But it's just never happened because we've been so busy. So hopefully that'll happen in the fall. But I need to like organize, reorganize this office. And definitely this clothing rack. So yeah, we might even keep this here. And Anto might use this for his stuff. Um, but I don't know yet, but yeah, so I don't know if I should even update this clothing rack yet because I don't even know it's, if it's going to be mine. That's a little, I guess, mini apartment or life update. I'm making dinner now. Like I said, I'm making a turkey meatloaf and I'm kind of just making it my own. Um, there's a lot of recipes you can follow online, but I'm using turkey for mine, and I know beef is more preferable, but I don't really eat beef. I prefer turkey, so we're gonna do ground turkey, and then I cut up some onion, garlic, parsley. I don't know if parsley is a common thing to put in there, but I just had it in the fridge. I wanna use it. I think it'll make it taste a little bit better. And then, of course, we have our eggs, our panko breadcrumbs. I'm gonna put some salt and pepper olive oil and then the only thing that i'm missing that is common for meatloaf is the uh war worcester worcester sauce i don't know if i'm saying that right but that's the only thing that you would add to this to make it taste really good but i'm gonna just mix everything all together ground it up and put it in this little loaf pan and then oh also ketchup we put ketchup in here and then on top so yeah meatloaf is not really for everyone i feel like a lot of people don't like it but i love it because it's super good with rice or mashed potatoes. I'm gonna make mashed cauliflower. I love the mashed cauliflower from Trader Joe's. So I'm going to heat that up on the stove. I'm also gonna cook some asparagus and that'll be tonight's dinner. Mm -hmm. 